Hey guys, Carco come at you. So, uh, my fiance surgery went well, so we're we're back at it again today with some score predictions and stuff like that. But um, so no video yesterday, but hey, we're gonna try to get on that Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday um, upload schedule just to kind of keep it you know consistent at least. So we'll definitely stay there with uh, some trading card Thursday stuff and some Tuesdays we'll do a lot of sports stuff and we might get some random uploads throughout the week, but. Today is Saturday, which means we've got some score predictions coming out your way. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the recap of last week. Um, it was not too hot, guys. Um, I went 5-8. and eight. Yeah. I don't like it. But we'll see, see if we can do better this week. So um, I had the Texans losing to the Browns. Of course, that happened. I did not expect it to be a 7-10 game. Like, that's a close, close game. Uh, I mean, I expected it to be a four-point game, but I didn't expect it to be a three-point game. You know, with under, with barely scoring 17 points in the game. Like, nobody expected that. I had Washington beating the Lions by three, 17-14, uh, and well, the Lions beat the <laughs> Washington by three. So, but... Um, I actually had the Bucks losing to the Panthers, and um, that game totally went the other way um, by a lot. So, yeah, we can just go to the next one. I had the Eagles beating the Giants by one, um, and Daniel Jones came out and just kind of, you know, won that game by 10. So, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but we'll see who can take first in that division obviously everybody thought the cowboys would take first but with their injuries and stuff like that like it's just not happening so um then i had the jaguars um losing to the packers um by 14 points and they only lost by four so like the jaguars and the jets are obviously going for last place see who can pull in um trevor trevor lawrence see who can get that new qb um, so I surprised the Jaguars actually had such a close game with the Packers. So and then I had the Bills beating the Cardinals um by four, and the Cardinals ended up beating the Bills by two. So it was a pretty close game. Um overall it was pretty close. So I had the Chargers beating the Dolphins, and that went the other way around. I had Joe Burrow um, as the rookie quarterback winning that one, but obviously it was not Joe Burrow winning that one. It was Tua. Um, so, but again, it was a close game. It was only an eight point game. Um, you know, you wish it was closer, but hopefully we see a lot of great matchups between those two for the rest of pretty much their careers. Um, I got the Broncos and the Raiders. I had the Broncos winning by six, um, and the Raiders just kind of took that one away. So I think they're going to be a, a playoff contender for sure. So we'll see kind of kind of where they land, to say. Um, I had the Seahawks and the Rams. I had the Seahawks blowing the Rams out 45-14. to 14. And where'd the Rams come from? Well, they came out and blew Seattle um, out. Not blew them out completely, but, you know, 23-6 um, when they were heavily – they were not the favorite. You know, heavily favored Seattle. So then we had the Bengals and the Steelers. I had the Bengals upsetting the Steelers by a touchdown. Um, yeah, that went completely the other way. So it's all good. It happens. Um, you know, as part of predicting the scores is you're hoping one team might go off in a week and the other team might slouch. Um, I had the Niners losing 10 to 28. Uh, they end up losing 13 to 27. Um Unfortunately, you know, Drew Brees did get hurt. Um, you know, it's a hard thing to see. It was such a great quarterback, but at the same time, it happens. And we just got to keep keep on going, I guess you'd say. So, um, I had the Ravens losing to the Patriots 17-21. Uh, to and I was surprised they actually lost 17-23. to I was pretty close. And that's the closest game I've, I've predicted score-wise. Um, I think the Patriots are, are a sleeper team in the – the playoffs. I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender, but I think they're they're gonna make an upset in the playoffs and kind of throw the balance out the window, as you might say. Obviously, Cam Newton has been in the playoffs. He's been to the Super Bowl, so we'll see. And then last, I had the Vikings beating the Bears uh, by eleven. They ended up beating them by six. So, you know, pretty good game, pretty close game. Um, Dalvin Cook didn't go off like I expected him to, um, but you can't always focus on one. 
one player. Uh, even the Niners with their running game last year, like they weren't focused just on Mostert or just on Coleman. You know, they they had all four running backs in the game, or three running backs in the game, plus the fullback use check involved in the game. So it's like they were not just one dimensional with one one running back. So uh, next next uh, Thursday night, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, we had the Cardinals and the Seahawks. I had the Seahawks winning that one by three. Obviously, they won by a touchdown. Um, it was a pretty close game. Um, but, you know, after the Cardinals winning and the Seahawks losing, I think the Seahawks had some fire. Um, and the Cardinals, they were kind of still riding their high on a short week. So that always makes it hard when you have a short week and, you know, you're, you're off a win versus a short week off a loss. You know, a short week off a loss, you're – I gotta win this game because if I don't win this game, then it's gonna be hard. So uh, this week I got the Steelers uh, beating the Jaguars thirty-five to fourteen. Um, as much as I want to see them lose, and as much as the Jaguars might come back and you know maybe squeak out some points, uh, I just don't see them taking it this week against the Steelers. Um, I have the Panthers beating the Lions uh, twenty-four to twenty-one. After the Panthers kind of lost last week, I think they're gonna have. Um, did we really just get blown out by the Buccaneers? Um, not the Bucks are bad, not that they're thinking that, but you know, did we really just let they just played horribly? So and then I have the Patriots beating the Texans, uh, twenty four to ten again. I think they're that sleeper team in the you know in the playoffs. So I think they're actually doing good things uh, in order to see kind of where their depth is and what they need. So, but the Texans, man, I feel bad for JJ Watt out there. Um, and Deshaun Watson, that, that's some wasted talent um, when you ain't got a team around him. So we'll see kind of what happens moving forward. So I have the Titans losing to the Ravens. Uh, obviously, I had the Ravens losing last week, and that ended up happening. And I think, you know, again, they're going to be a fire lit under their butt. And I don't think the Titans, they just, they don't outperform. They perform, they just don't over outperform a lot of their team. Or not the team, but the the other their opponents. So, I got the Browns barely beating the Eagles, fourteen to ten. Um, I think it's gonna be a sleeper game. So, we'll see. I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, nothing crazy is gonna happen. I got the Falcons beating the Saints partially because uh, Jameis Winston um was at thirty for thirty. Mister Thirty for Thirty was uh sitting on the bench, but they got Taysom Hill. Starting, but I just don't think they're gonna keep Taysom Hill as quarterback. I think James Winston's gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of reps. So thirty for thirty entering the game, and I think the Falcons just you know they're set up. Matt Ryan still is their quarterback. You know Taysom Hill. I don't know if Taysom Hill has a start now. That I'm thinking about it, so we'll see. It'll be close. Twenty one seventeen still. You know close game, but I had the Bengals play in Washington. Um, I got them winning big. Twenty one seven. I mean it's Washington. Um, who's their starter? <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens there. And the Jets, I think, are going to lose to the Chargers, um, thirty-one to ten. Obviously, I think the Chargers are going to, you know, come out. Justin Herbert is, I think, the MVP or not the MVP, but the Rookie of the Year. Um, and I know a lot of people don't think so, but I think he's gonna he's gonna be. Rookie of the year, he's going to be the guy to worry about. He's not the next Patrick Mahomes. He's not the next, um, um, like, great, great quarterback. He's not going to be the GOAT, but he's going to be, you know, a sleeper quarterback for years to come because, you know, he's got the talent, he's got the knowledge, um, and he's just a pretty good, good player. So, um, and then I got the Dolphins beating the Broncos. Um, you know, I thought the Tua hype was just hype. I didn't think it was going to really play out the way it has. But, you know, Tua hype's not just hype anymore. It's kind of the he's becoming the real deal. So I don't think he'll outperform Herbert for, you know, offensive rookie of the year just because it, it's hard with Herbert's defense. I think Herbert's offense is pretty good. So... Uh, I got the Vikings beating the Cowboys 28-14. I think everybody's going to beat the Cowboys just because without Dak, they haven't they haven't really had a team. You know, it, 
it's hard when Dak's a major part um, of your offense and he gets hurt like he did. So I got the Packers barely squeaking it out against the Colts, though, 21 to 20. Um, so that'll be a close game. Um, I won't be surprised if the Colts end up squeaking it out. Just I think they're, they've got some fire that they are going to try to kindle. And who else against the Packers, right? I mean, try to knock off a top seed. Um, and then the Chiefs, I think, you know, don't let my aunt or, uh, you know, her whole family hear this, but I think the Chiefs are going to lose the Raiders 31-28. to um, They're in Vegas. Um, the Raiders are pretty much going to be a pretty strong fifth or sixth seed um, in the playoffs just trying to, you know, knock people out. I don't think, again, I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender. I think the Chiefs would beat them in the playoffs, but I think right now Chiefs coming off a bye, um, it could go one of two ways. Either you're going to come out wrecking everybody or you're going to come out sleepy. And, you know, the Raiders, you can't come out sleepy right now against them. So we'll see what's going on. And then lastly, I got the Rams beating the Bucks 28-17. Um, obviously, the Bucks had a pretty big win last week, but... Aaron Donald, all he's got to do is upset Tom Brady once, and the game's kind of over. Tom Brady just doesn't do well being manhandled because of his offensive line. So, well, we'll see how I do this week. Um, hopefully, I do better than five and eight. Uh, that's my first losing week, I think, uh, since week seven. So, we'll see what's going on. And uh, yeah, just let me know, guys. Let me know down in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What games do you disagree with? Um, I like to hear what you guys have to say and then not, on top, not only that but hit that like if you do agree you know help more people see this uh, let's just get the conversation going because why not it's good to know what other people think um, it only makes us more um, you know as individuals it makes us smarter so guys take care and we'll catch you later